Students walk out of class today at West Point High School protesting the termination of Peter Vlaming, a French teacher who refuses to use a transgender student's preferred male pronoun. Eight News reporter Sierra Fox broke the story here on Tuesday, and tonight she has exclusive comments from a family friend of that transgender student at the center of the controversy. Nearly 100 students walked out of class today in support of French teacher Peter Vlaming. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! Students at West Point High School feel that teacher Peter Vlaming was unfairly disciplined, then fired. This comes just one day after a public hearing that lasted for hours. Vlaming says he refuses to address the transgender student with male pronouns. I feel like we really need him back because a lot of people are really upset and he has four kids, so it's kind of hard for him to lose his job right now. Jamie Pass protests with her daughter. They both disagree with the school board's decision. With men, women, boy or girl, you believe what you want, but you can't make other people believe what you believe. Vlaming says his Christian faith prevents him from using male pronouns for a student he sees as female. We are here today because a specific worldview is being imposed upon me. The student and his parents have been advised not to speak at this time. A family friend of the transgender student tells 8 News he seems comfortable in his own skin, as we all would if we could show the world who we really are. He doesn't get to choose to be trans, he's just trans. He's not the first and he won't be the last. It's time to educate ourselves on the subject and respond with empathy, respect, and curiosity. Vlaming says he respects the rights of his student, but he wants his rights to be respected as well. His attorney says they have 10 days to appeal. After that, this case could go to federal court. Reporting in West Point, Sierra Fox, 8 News. And students at West Point High School stage a walkout today after a teacher is fired for refusing to use a transgender student's new pronouns. Karina Bolster spoke with supporters of the teacher and student, and all sides agree this debate is far from over. More than 100 West Point high school and middle school students gathered here on the lawn to voice their opposition about the school board's decision to fire Peter Vlaming, saying that his freedom of speech and religion was infringed upon. Let him back! Let him back! The school is trying to force this teacher to conform to their ideologies and with, with the threat of uh, removal from the school. Vlaming told school administrators he would not honor a transgender student's request to be referred to as a male with male pronouns, saying it's against his religion. I feel that everyone should have the freedom of speech and the freedom of religion as well. Instead, Vlaming tried to resolve the issue by using the student's preferred name and avoid feminine pronouns. The superintendent determined this was an act of insubordination and repeated refusal to comply with directives. We certainly applaud the board's decision. But VA Pride President James Milner also believes the issue of how teachers should treat transgender students will continue to be an issue. Well, there's no statewide guidance on this issue, and that's something that we really need so that this can so that there can be um, guidance that allows um, school districts across the state to be able to be well equipped to deal with this issue because it's not going to go away. They need to really sit down and all of them, all the school systems in the state, the country needs to sit down and come to a decision. Several students involved in the walkout say they don't blame the transgender student. The child's going through a lot and we shouldn't be directing this towards her. We should be directing this towards the school. I'm not sure that there are really any real winners in this situation. Now, Blaming's attorney said that he and his client asked that all West Point students show respect towards this student, including when they're protesting against the school. The superintendent stated because this was a peaceful walkout, students will not face any disciplinary action.